Uh, so welcome back guys. Today's tutorial we go about looking at how we can unzip zipped files and save them onto a certain location. Now please do understand that this are for like you know people who are pretty new to systems, senior citizens and people like that. So it's like maybe common thing for you and me but for those people that's pretty tough. So what I would advise is like in case you have been on the receiving side of such zipped files so you can actually create a folder like on the desktop what you do is you create a folder that would actually help you so you can create a folder and say you can name it zip1 or something and then inside the folder try and put your zip file why i say this is because often when you unextract or sorry you extract the contents of this file or you unzip this the folder, the unzip folder gets saved onto the same location. Now for this you may have like programs like WinZip, WinRAR and other things and this would be loaded by default onto your Windows system. In case it isn't, you may go ahead and download them because they happen to be open source. You don't need to buy them obviously. So you, what you do is after you have those programs, you simply double click on this and you can see this opens up my like this little small program, I believe in RAS. And here you can see I have this option of extract, test, view, other things. Obviously, I want to extract, I want to unzip and see the contents. So I simply extract this. It tells me that uh, it will get unzipped to the same location. So you can see it's desktop, zip1. So this is the zip1 folder inside which I will have this as the unzip folder. So you can obviously change. You can create a different location from here, like you can send it to a different location by specifying the location, but I obviously don't want to change it. And I can actually see the contents and everything. So, okay, I do that and uh, as soon as I click on OK, you can see it, like, it's come out here. So this is a very simple way and now when I see the contents, it basically contains a PDF file and I can actually go ahead and see that. So whatever the content is. So this is how it's easy it is to extract zip folders and i believe that in case you have one you can easily unzip it as well so do write to me in the comment section if you find this helpful like i stated that it's no rocket science but it definitely helps a lot of senior citizens and people who are trying to get uh, acquainted with systems and stuff like that just trying to help them out as well until next time it's me i'm signing off hopefully